team coverage continues. Our Mike Puccinelli has been following the Kennedy shutdown from alongside the expressway all morning long for us. Well, let's check in with him right now for a closer look at what led to this closure. Mike, good morning. Hi, and of course, the Kennedy Expressway is the busiest expressway in Illinois. So right now, the inbound Kennedy, as you might imagine, in terrible shape. In the foreground, you can see the express lanes. They are moving, but very slowly behind them. You can see the local lanes, which are at a virtual standstill as traffic is diverted off at Diversity. Now, that's because the Illinois State Police shut down the inbound Kennedy between Diversity and Fullerton so that troopers could walk the area looking for evidence. We are told they have already retrieved some bullet casings from the shooting that happened at around 3.30 this morning. It's not clear what led up to the gunfire, but troopers could be seen placing flares on the expressway as they continue to process the crime scene. Two people were injured. The victims are a 20-year-old woman and a 19-year-old man. She was shot in her left thigh and was taken to Illinois Masonic in yellow condition. It's not clear where he was shot, but he was in red condition when he was rushed to the emergency room this morning. Both victims were located underneath the expressway near California and diversity. That's where police could be seen walking the area while gathering evidence that hopefully will lead them to the shooter or shooters. Now, the Kennedy is, of course, the busiest expressway in Illinois with more than 325,000 daily users. So anytime there's a problem here, it causes a huge ripple effect all across the morning rush hour in Chicago. Reporting live along the Kennedy, Mike Puccinelli, CBS2 News. Megan?